If you can learn to love a process, you will stick with it. And if you stick with a process, you will learn enough to succeed with it. That's what I hope for you when you are taking the actions to grow your business. If you can learn to love the actions that will help you build your business, then you will stick with those actions more consistently. And if you stick with them consistently, you will learn and practice enough to become ex to become a master of those actions, which will then bring you the external success that you are seeking. So I have just written a blog post called The Seven Joys of Authentic Business. And I encourage you to find it and read it. You could just Google The Seven Joys of Authentic Business and put my name, George Cow, and you'll, you'll find it. Um, but I, let, me just, let me just kind of give you some perspective here about why it's so important to learn to turn all your actions into joys. Because one of the things you're going to see on Instagram, right, and from people who are teaching you business and is that there is so much vacationing. There's so much like, oh, I'm, I'm yet, yet again on a vacation because my lifestyle is so amazing. I'm having fun all the time because my business is successful. And that's what you can too. If you learn my business methods, you will be able to be on vacation all day long and forever, right? That's the, that's the kind of image that they bring to you. And it's not realistic. It's not realistic. What you're seeing is one to 5% of their lifestyle what you're not seeing is the 95 to 99 percent of their working time when they're like, "Oh my God, I got to launch this thing, and I hope this thing is successful so that I can then show my wonderful lifestyle." Oh, I gotta, you know, I gotta deal with this difficult client, or I got to, you know, do my bookkeeping or whatever it is that they're not having fun most of the time, but they only show you the fun and the games and the lifestyle that that they're having. Well, that's not what I show you on Instagram. What I show you is the real stuff. But what I want to teach you is how to turn the real stuff, the actions, into itself a deeply joyful process. Because imagine, imagine if you could love your day-to-day -day work of contributing to others, solving problems which are not easy. Solving problems in your business and solving problems for other people, it's not easy. And it's sometimes, guess what? painful sometimes. And let me, let me explain this. Pain in life is not optional. It's required. But suffering is optional. I mean, look at life itself. How did life become? How, how are you even here? You're here because your mother went through a lot of pain in the birthing process and in raising you. There's a lot of pain involved. But and I'm not a birth expert, but I imagine there are conscious birth experts who can teach you how to have a birthing process that is deeply joyful, right? So the, the pain is not optional, but the suffering is optional. And if you can learn how to turn every single action in your business, whether you are creating content or whether you are doing your bookkeeping or whether you are trying to figure out what you're going to launch next and whether you are putting the launch together or whatever it is or working with a difficult, if you can turn all that into joy, then you've won. Then you've won because then every single day can be a, joy, a deeply joyful process. Now, there is two types of happiness, right? There is shallow happiness, which is pleasing the uh, things that please the body, the things that are going on vacation, you know, eating wonderful food, um, playing with friends and family, you know, uh, watching, you know, exciting videos and playing video games. Those are, those are shallow happiness. And then there is a deep happiness. The deep happiness comes from solving worthwhile problems from helping other people, from growing to become a better person and noticing that you're growing. That's the deep happiness. And that's the deep happiness I wish for you every single day. The deep happiness is where you go through pain, but you even reframe the pain as play. Imagine this. Can you reframe the pain you're going through as playfulness? You can. You can, actually. Next time you feel physical, even the next time you feel physical pain, try to bring some curiosity into it. Go, hmm, well, interesting that I feel this way. Oh, I, and when I feel physical pain, you know what I do? I reframe it as 
this pain is actually healing my body. This pain is actually my body going through a process of healing. Anyway, this is a whole other subject. But what I'm saying is you can reframe the pain of showing up. The pain, like right now, I'm not having shallow fun. I mean, now, now I'm kind of having fun with you. But before I started making this video, I didn't want to make this video. I didn't feel, I never want to make videos. I never want to write. I never want to launch products. I never want to do anything. That, it's not shallow fun doing this stuff. But it's deeply fun to, say, to, play, to, to reframe the not wanting to, to go, I'm going to play with that not wanting to. I'm going to rebel against my fear. I'm going to rebel against my anxiety and my lack of motivation. I'm going to rebel against those things. It's kind of fun to rebel. It's fun to rebel, of course. But you've got to rebel against the negative stuff. Don't rebel against the positive actions. Oh, I'm rebelling. Oh, my calendar says I'm going to make a video right now. I'm going to rebel against I don't feel like making a video right now. I rebel against that. No, no. I rebel against the rebellion of not wanting to do it. I rebel against the anxiety of showing up and seeing, well, I might not be able to keep your attention. People are watching this and they're leaving. You know, I see the numbers up and down, right? It's not fun, but I rebel against the, the, the wanting to quit. I rebel against the, uh, the anxiety and the fear of rejection and I rebel against those things. And I show up and then at first it's not fun. And then once I'm in the creation stage, once I'm actually into it, then I find the flow. And then now it becomes both of my, uh, my video. Oh, my video is possible. But I was going to say, it, once I get into it, I overcome the initial lack of motivation and lack of desire to show up, the, the anxiety. I show up and I do it and I find the, and I, I keep doing it until I find the flow. And now I'm, in, now, now I'm both happy deeply and I'm shallow happy as well, right? Because now I'm kind of having fun with you. Same thing with every single thing in your business, even bookkeeping, even something you don't enjoy doing. At first, oh, I don't want to do bookkeeping. I don't want to like, you know, work with numbers and, and spreadsheets or whatever. But you just say, you know what? I'm going to rebel against that and I'm going to show up. I'm going to play. I'm going to play with this. I'm going to play with this idea of bookkeeping. I'm going to play with these. Oh, how fun. I get to play with numbers right now. I'm just trying to figure stuff out. Let me play with it. Let me take my time step by step and play with it. As I'm playing with it, as I'm doing it, now I'm like, oh, I can see why this is useful. Oh, I can see why this is, this is interesting. Why see, I can see why this is necessary for my business. And now I can hopefully find both the deep fun and the shallow fun. So that's what I really hope for you and wish for you for every single action in your business. Find both the deep fun and eventually as you do it and as you're into it, finally, you'll find also the shallow fun. And then therefore you integrate the child and the adult. And so many people are walking around children in adult bodies. They, they, they haven't really integrated. They're just thinking that, oh, I, gotta, I wish I could just be vacations and weekends all day, all the time. That's just being a kid. That's being immature. What you've got to learn is to do adult things, which is solve problems in the world, solve problems in your own life, grow to become a better person, to become more patient, courageous, loving, and wise. But to bring your childlikeness into all of that, to play with all of that. So now you're integrating both the child and the adult to become a whole mature person. And that's really what we're all, myself included, all on the journey to do. So I hope this is interesting and useful to you. And uh, until the next video, I hope you'll play with whatever you need to do to grow your business. Wish you well. Take care.